Hey guys, and welcome to episode 132 of the Upper Late Podcast. My name is Scott Ellis. I'm joined here by Tim McGavick. 132. Boom. Mm. Oh, Tyler Switalski. Hey guys. I feel like I'm more of a guest star on this show now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we it's like you were never even here. Yeah. And Adam Franey. I'm always here, though. Literally uh, always. 132. Never missed a single... No, no. you did miss an yeah, episode. Missed. Yeah. Adam. This one. Episode 132. You're missing it. <laughs> Leave. You're fired. Let's run down some of the topics we are going to discuss on this week's episode. As usual, we're going to talk about the last film we watched this week, as well as a few news topics. We got a couple hot trailers this week. We got Solo, Star Wars Story. We got Deadpool 2, teaser. And we got a little tease for Venom, as well, as, well as some Star Wars news. We got the showrunners of Game of Thrones have signed on. To write and produce a new series of Star Wars films. Yeah. Music posted in the chat. David mm-hmm. Benioff yes. and DJ okay. Weiss. So we're going to get to those in a bit as well. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join in our discussion. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. With that out of the way, Tim. Mm. What did you watch this week? Tim going first. A young girl and her friends traverse their idealistic life of misadventures and childhood wonder amongst the backdrop of a budget motel on the outskirts of Disney World. Bridge to Terabithia. 2017's The Florida Project. Ah, Sorry. We're supposed to watch it together. You're never free. You fuck. Uh, Written and directed by Sean Baker, who directed Tangerines a few years ago. (laughs) Made famous because he filmed that whole movie with just an iPhone 5S. This one, starring a bunch of nobodies. And Willem Dafoe, Rude. including Willem but Dafoe. But the new people are Brooklyn Prince, plays uh, awesome Mooney, name. who's Excuse a little six-year-old me. girl, and Brooklyn Bria Prince. Venati, who plays Brooklyn Prince's mother, Haley. Caleb Landry Jones. Is and Caleb Landry Jones plays Willem Dafoe's and son. your boy, Macon Blair? Macon Blair shows up, yes. Oh, as a very, yeah. very angry, scummy, scummy dude. Mm. Scummy yeah, he Disney is dad. fucking scummy. As I was watching this, I was like, I'm glad I didn't wait for Tyler. Oh, wow. Because okay. it's very slice of life, and you would probably hate it. Ooh, okay. I'm out. I'm out. I'm so um, out. You can't hate it. You can't hate it. No, there's, oh, there's not much. Shoot it. There's a lot of story, not a lot of plot. Ooh. So basically, it takes place, I think, over a whole summer, or a few weeks at least, um, at this motel that has essentially become, like, a project where, like, people who can't afford, like... A monthly rent pays weekly to stay at this hotel. Okay. Um, with family, and they decorate it, and this is all real. This is there's so many areas in the U.S. probably through Canada as well, where people are living in motels because it's what they can afford. Um, a lot of characters in this movie are real tenants of that hotel. Um, that were like shot. Not Haley. Haley's in the mother you know this <laughs> you're staring at me as if i was saying something new and i'm like am i a wrong lot of, a lot of the extras a lot of the, play all the extras are um, <laughs> are actual i'm still blown away by this yeah, yeah you wouldn't yeah um, and the actors like stayed at the motel yeah willem the phone there a week before they started filming just to like what the fuck get in with it okay i didn't know that uh he plays a hotel manager okay on the phone uh, I love this movie. Yeah. Ah, so good. So good. Um, it's just, like, the kids are just so, like, innocent. And at the same time, they're just, like, complete brats. Shit, because <laughs> like, they don't have, like, a proper, like, oversight. So, like, they get to, like, really bad shit. Yeah. And, yeah. But at the same time, they're just kind of being kids. And, like, this is what they think kids do. So mm-hmm. they're, like, spitting on cars and, like... Lighting fires and like you running through the shit. streets, like begging yelling at adults and begging for money and stuff. Um, but bitch. oh man, performances are amazing. Yeah, from like everybody. It's insane. The kids, the kids are good. Kids are great. Oh, it's awesome. So natural. Um, the mother. The mother is great. She's I watched funny. a couple uh, interviews with her to see what she's like. She's obviously not as like. I won't say ratchet <laughs> in real life. <laughs> like say. like her voice Ooh. is pretty much the same, or she kind of has the same like tones in her voice. Um, but she's a very different person in real life, from what I can tell. Um, this is her first movie. Okay. Apparently, Sean Baker found her on Instagram. She was a really popular, like, Instagram poster. And, like, con- contacted her. It was like, she, yeah, like, her emailed story. her. She, like, emailed her. It was like, he hey, DM'd this her. is Sean Baker. I'm a director. I think you'd be great for my new movie. 
and she like didn't respond right away because she thought it was like fake. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which who wouldn't? So like, like, what was she doing on Instagram? Apparently, she was like just posting a lot of, like weird videos and like had a bunch of followers and stuff. And Charmaker was like, "Oh, I love this girl's looking in, in energy." I guess. Bizarre. That's crazy because she was like great. Yeah, um, she's great in it. Um, Defoe. Defoe's great. Yeah. Very subdued role. I'm kind of surprised he's nominated, but he is. He's very very good. He doesn't really have like an Oscar moment in it ever. I was gonna say like. The moment, like the movie that I know from previous to this, is that really weird Netflix one they did where he was like, this weird creepy demon thing. Mm. So like, no, he's very nice. He's like that's what you know him from. No, that's why like his last that last oh, one I know okay, him from. Okay, yeah, he has a he has a few moments. Yeah, nothing like crazy like a no like monologue. No, yeah. no like Willem, Willem Dafoe. Moment. But he just has some like really nice tender Do moments. Okay. Theory that him playing in just a normal dude is a transformation for him. Yes. He's always like he's, a super villain yeah. or a demon. Or yes. insane, yeah. yeah. He's like, his facial structure is like very <laughs> conducive. Or half Jew on a train. Yes. Yeah. Um, what else can I say? The, cin- the cinematography is great. Me and Scott need to know. I'll get to the Not ending. The bullshit. I'll get to the ending bit. Um, so like, it's shot like against all like these really like garish looking motels. Like they're all like Vibrant brightly colors. colored because so, yeah. It's literally... The colors? You know, Disney World's essentially a city. Yes. And you have hotels. Oh, I know. And then there's hotels, like, just outside of the city that oh, yeah. have names like Magic Kingdom or, like, Futureland. Oh, yeah. But they're super budget. Yeah. That's what this is. Okay. And it's all, like, painted big purple, oh. and there's, like, a castle theme going on. That orange, though. So many oranges mm-hmm. and purple. Oh, like that literal orange. Yeah. Yeah, giant orange shop that you visit. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, the man. ending. I will talk off air with you two. <gasps> Not me. About something. Spoiler? Obviously. Yes, but I will say. Did you shed a tear? I did shed a tear. Yeah. The last Is that five minutes. Three out of three. Did you? Oh yeah. I three? rolled up. I was yeah. watching this. I saw. I was watching this by myself, and then like you just let it out. when <laughs> some kids started running, I was just like, ah! <laughs> oh my god. Um, but right before that final sequence, um, devastating stuff goes on. There's just like hilarity ensues. No, man, like, the oh. kid just, like... No hilarity. I don't know how to read the situation. <laughs> this kid just breaks down. I'm like, oh, my God, this feels so real. Okay, yeah. I gotta watch it. Yeah. Like, at that, the door? Part, at the door? Like, I was just like, fuck. oh, my God. It's, like, the first time... You guys, like, put yourselves together. <laughs> exposing herself. Oh. What are you... What? <sighs> four for four count Phil. He's, he's confirmed that he cried as well. Shout really? Out, shout out to Phil. It's a three. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go heavy four on this guy. Heavy star four. It wasn't quite five. a five. I think it was too slice of lifey. Yeah, a little Ooh. bit. Ooh, Ooh, the worst. A little bit. The worst. I feel you. Kind of at the beginning. Kind of Chill meandered feel. a little bit too Kill much. Me, bro. Kill Kill me. Me. Uh, Kill but besides feel. that, heavy four. It might not good time out of the top ten list for me mm. for the year. It what? Good it time. Not good time out of the top yeah. ten. Damn. I got it. I got it. Rewatch good time. Shh. Mostly because this one's remember. just freshest in my mind. I don't remember where it is on my list. It's as fresh as those Florida oranges in my mind, you know? Oh my god. Number four. Yeah, five, oh. man. That's mine. That's very, very good. You just had that? It's potentially a five if all, I watch it again. All the past ones are really nice. I will say it was not HD. It was kind of yeah. subpar quality video. So it's not in theaters. Maybe once I it see it. It's vibrant as fuck. Oh, I want to see this thing like. I'll be getting it on Blu-ray lit up. If not 4K. I need some colors. Well, there Ty, we what do you got for us this week? Oh, something good. I what do I got? I'll tell you what I got. Uh, I have nothing. All right, Adam, what do you got for us this week? <laughs> I will say this, though. I uh, I did injure myself. I'm not sure if these Nobody cares. selfish fucks mentioned this. I did mess up my back quite significantly. And so I was pretty much stuck in a bed for two days. You were sideways for a little bit. <laughs> it was pretty messed up. My back was like this. Um, so Perfect I was stuck in bed. To watch the movies. You, you think so. You think so. <laughs> but I'm stuck in bed like this pretty much. And all I have was like a stack of my Blu-rays because I just moved out. So all I have is a stack of Blu-rays and that's pretty much it. So I'm going through. I'm like, what can I watch that will take up the most time? So I watched Lord of the Rings. And I was a little fucked up from some pain stuff. So blew my fucking mind i'm sitting like i'm in like i'm just like tearing apart situations being like man how do these guys feel about like i went like deep into it it was messed up up, i was fucked it was so good though if you guys get a chance get fucked up and watch lord of the rings fuck you'll consider things you never even thought before Adam, Adam, as you were. Moving on. Yeah, had ten hours to watch lord of the rings but couldn't watch the last scene makes sense typical tie uh 
An unhinged <laughs> social media stalker moves to LA. <gasps> I saw like, this. Oh, we saw it too. It's on Netflix. No, no, I, I saw it on Netflix. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm, and I insinuates it? herself into the life of an Instagram star. Ingrid goes west for the late. Oh, sure. Yes. Uh, it's the same girl who played the mom in the. Ooh. Mm, yeah, Instagram star. Yeah. I almost watched this, but my last name. 2017, rated R. Me too. Listed as comedy drama on IMDb. A little bit of horror in there, I might add. Mm. A little bit of psychological thriller. Mm. Oh, interesting. Very creepy, disturbing film. Aubrey Plaza, Elizabeth Olsen, O'Shea Jackson Jr., uh, Wyatt Russell, and a guy I've never seen before. I gotta get his name here. Billy Magnuson. I don't think I've ever seen him. I heard he's good. He's like the brother. He's fantastic. Uh, Aubrey Plaza, you said. Directorial debut from Matt Spicer. Yeah, Too late. Up. It's been X'd out. I love this movie. It's great. Saw it on a lot Ooh. of top 10 lists for 2017. Um, yeah, it's just very original. Very. It's one of those things where it's like obviously a satire of today's social media obsessed people. Like Ingrid herself, Aubrey Plaza, is this social media obsessed clearly like mentally ill person and is it Elizabeth Olsen who's the star? She's, she's the, the Instagram star yeah the one she becomes infatuated with yeah and it's just she would play a good psycho oh uh, she's incredible I love her Aubrey Plaza huge Aubrey Plaza I've fan. never been a fan really yeah but this movie makes me a fan like she's incredible if yeah. you like her oh I do like I'm talking like maybe yeah. Oscar buzz really too late now yeah but it would have been nice though. i mean nice. literally no one mentioned her but yeah <laughs> she was amazing um this movie got overlooked i feel definitely overlooked i was yeah because we could we could have reviewed it a while ago i mean because it wasn't really? in theaters holy shit yeah see like and, and we just i noticed it there but there were bigger movies yeah uh and we kind of stepped over it she just has this like Shelley Duvall like shining quality to her just mm. completely like distressed like those big eyes she just cuts right to your soul without like distress that stare look. like she's yeah. got a glare to death her death stare resting bitch face, face. Like a face she's gorgeous it is just such a creepy movie it just like really creeped me out to my core I'm a little just, disturbed like, just talking about shit. it shit Wow, was, I did not expect this. Yeah, it was I heard O'Shea Jackson and, Jr. is good. Hilarious, yeah. He's, he's like, like a drug com dealer? Comic relief, yeah. yeah. Dan Pinto, he, he made me laugh in it. He's obsessed with Batman. <laughs> like he, he's like a wannabe um, screenwriter. It's like a very L.A. movie. It's like a satire of L.A. lifestyle. It's just so funny. Like He's like, oh, I'm a screenwriter. You you know, you might have... She's like, have you done anything I might have heard of? He's like, uh, Batman? She's like, what? Which Batman movie did you write? He's like... Well, you know, I'm working on a spec script right now, and I think it would just be a good addition to the franchise. I haven't actually gotten anything <laughs> published or picked up yet, but it's just like, That's good. And it, as he's vaping, it's just like <laughs> so LA. It's just like hilarious. And he's obsessed with Batman Forever. That's his favorite. Oh. He's, so he's like dropping all these great Batman Forever references. It's really, it's a weird, it's almost like Get Out. It's like a horror comedy. It gave me that, like, Get Out vibe. Uh, the brother, Billy Magnuson, outrageous. He plays, all the performances were excellent. Is he like a bro? Yes. He <laughs> comes in, so Arby Plaza, you know, eventually gets to know Elizabeth Olsen. And she's kind of, like, working her way in there. And he comes home for a surprise visit for two weeks. And she's, like, ruined. She's like, like I was finally having so this close. cool friend. Yeah, I was right there. And then I get bodied for her brother. And the brother's just literally psycho. Like, recovered drug addict. Clearly still on drugs. Like, practicing karate. Like, five inches from your face kind of guy. Respect. Yeah, he's a real broski. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just didn't expect... I didn't expect it to go places it went. And the ending is very, very like poignant. It just, it was very, it just reminded me a lot of Get Out. It's like perfectly tackling the social media frenzy. The zeitgeist. The zeitgeist, the zeitgeist if you will. Whatever you want to say. And I can't wait to see what Matt Spicer does after this movie. Cool. So, uh, yeah. Give no it good. the old four banger. <gasps> solid, solid four. You hated it. 
I have with shit. Or sounds sounds seen, like a movie I'm going to enjoy. Watch it again. Might, we'll have to watch it this week. Yeah. You guys should see it. It's very good. Uh, just not, it's just not perfect. I'll watch any of Happy Plus on it. Hey, man. I, I didn't even avoid like her. her. But yeah. Really? Yeah, I literally didn't, like, actively did not like her. Really? Until this. Now I like her. She's wow. great. That's crazy. Yeah. I like her in Parking Rack. Yeah. yeah. She has a regular character in Parking Rack. That's that. Watch it. I'm going to jump in. Um, an inner city junior high school teacher with a drug habit ah. forms an unlikely friendship with one of his students after she discovers his secret. St. Vincent. The goose. No, not St. Vincent. Okay. Half Nelson. From 2006. Oh. That movie's 12 by... years old? Yeah. Fuck me. That's what I said. <laughs> That's... Damn. Yeah, it's pretty old. Well, uh, directed by Ryan Fleck. Uh, written by Ryan Fleck and Anna Bowden. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You guys might know Mississippi Grind. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the upcoming Captain Marvel yeah. mm-hmm. film that yeah. they're working on. Starring Ryan Gosling mm-hmm. and uh, Sharika Epps. Not related to Mike Omar Epps. Epps. Omar Epps. <laughs> Omar Epps. Or, or Mike Epps. Unrelated. Uh, and Anthony Mackie as well. Oh, yeah. I don't remember him. Not related to Anthony Mackie. Yeah. Does he play her brother? Epps' brother? Uh, she plays her brother's, like, friend. Okay. Who's, like, this, like, gangster guy. Right, yeah, yes, yes. He's, like, yeah. some of that influence. Is she a drug dealer, I think? Right? Yeah. 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 Um, but, yeah, I saw this movie on Netflix. I was searching for a movie to watch. Um, and saw it there. Wow. Good 90 minutes. Look? Critically, under critically acclaimed indie... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like slow indie movies or something or some weird title I was like what really Pretty that's specific. a specific yeah <laughs> um, but yeah this movie's great Ryan Gosling is fantastic mm, Oscar yeah. nominated right his only one I believe but no he's two now uh, La, Lars La La Land La La Land yes, yes. yes. Lars he was not no yeah, this is sort of early, earlier in his career. Yeah. I think this is right. I think Notebook was like two thousand four yeah. or something, like a couple years before this. Like and he was sort of trying to get out of his like um, heartthrob yeah. sort of period. Yeah, and uh, this Type definitely, cast. yeah, this definitely is you know a step was a step forward for him. Um, but yeah, the, to me the acting was fantastic. You know, it kind of had that you know shaky cam yeah. feel, like yeah. Duck, yeah. Duck, Duck you, you. yeah <laughs> style. Yeah. Um, feel, but the really the performances and just the characters themselves, how they weren't like written in such a way that it was like, so he has problems and he's like a bad guy. It's like he has his problems, but he's also a really great teacher. Yeah. And it's sort of he has this sort of there's this there's two people that you see two sides of him, and it's sort of like it's this gray area like character wise. I thought that was really great. And there's this one moment. I think this movie was like culminating to this one moment, which you guys might know, where she's like on this drug deal and he's there. He's like the buyer. Anyways. Yes. The, I don't want to say too much, but I mean, that's, end, I pretty much just said it. End, at right? the end. Yeah. Pretty close to the end. Um, so. But it was just like, oh, fuck. Have you seen it? Have yes. Seen it? I saw it in 2006. <laughs> no, like 2008, probably. Oh shit! A couple years after, I it's been a while. Did not realize it's been a decade since I've seen it. That's that's that's, that's insane. <sighs> I have not seen it. Saw it on YouTube. What? So there's that. Yeah, yeah, I think I saw it on YouTube. Or like something. five years ago, like before I had Netflix. I literally, it's all. It's, it's like on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Wow. It's that. It's probably not anymore. It's probably not um, anymore. But yeah, she definitely not anymore. And I, I just thought the writing was great. Um, like I said, as far as the characters, their situations go, I just thought. It was very natural, and you could sort of see their relationship, and it sort of made sense. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was a nice little indie flick. It is. And uh, I'd probably give it a four to five. Mm-hmm. Four out of five. I remember really quite, in, quite enjoyable. Yeah. Quite enjoyable. The goose. Right. The goose. Love them. Yeah. Only Oscar. Or Let's move on. First Oscar. Not much. Not much to say about it, to be honest. We got some news though. We got a few trailers. I think we can dig our teeth into these. Let's start off with the little trailer for Solo. The oh. Own. A Star Wars story. Starring Alden Ehrenreich, Amelia Clark, Woody Harrelson, Donald Glover. Am I missing anyone? Major? No. Not really. Adam. Chewbacca. Just before we get into this. Ansel oh. Algort is no. the one who was in Baby Driver. Yes. yes. Who did not get solo. Right. Okay. Go. Adam. 
What are your thoughts? My thoughts are... Uh, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Mm. No bush beating. I think it looks fucking amazing. Mm. I'm all in. Uh, this was my number two most anticipated movie of the year. Mm-hmm. Yes. Holy fuck. I was very worried. Mm. But I'm in. Visually stunning. I think the Star Wars movies are the best looking blockbusters being made. Uh, that shot of him like Revenant mode with that James one. Bond <laughs> excuse me <sighs> go ahead good point as you were good point um, next good. to James Bond mm. uh, um, yeah that Revenant shot where he's got the fur coat and that mountain love like the on location shooting when the like that's a yes scene you can tell they're like freezing to death they actually shot that again on location sick I love the Woody Harrelson shot walking through that beach with that like matte painting ship in the background. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. all in. Mm-hmm. Donald Glover looks perfect. Yeah. Mm. I'm getting a vibe that you guys have rode the behind the scenes uh, mob mentality on this one and will not accept that it was a good trailer. You've been blinded by behind the scenes reports. Tim, what do you think? I think visually looks amazing. That explosion. The explosion is what blows my mind the most. I think that looks I great. knew it. I knew it would blow so your good. mind. Um, not getting a big solo vibe. Ooh. I'm getting more of a... <laughs> a team vibe. No, I'm getting more of a Captain Kirk from this sure. new Star Trek movie vibe okay. from him. I have. My cousin said that. Yeah. That's that's the vibe I'm getting. He looks like he's doing like a Chris Pine Star Trek hmm. thing. Interesting. Don't yeah. get a Han Solo. He doesn't look very suave. Yeah, like Han Solo is like rough and tough, but he's also kind of like suave. This this just seems like he's, I mean, it's his younger days. It is younger. Um, Take it to make it. I mean, it seems like he's like less quick, like less. He's not. He's not like a sna- snapbacky. Yeah, his his few lines or jokes were like not great. Yeah, yeah. Um, I agree. <laughs> I still don't believe that like he was like a terrible actor on set because he's great in um, uh, Hail Caesar. Maybe like I don't buy that part, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it's be good. I think it'd be a good movie, but I don't think it mostly comes back to not really needing this movie to be made. Ouch. I think is what it comes down to. Ouch. They could have like put yeah. they could have swapped solo out for like any other like person just being like this is a Obi-Wan Star Wars story Kenobi. with like this new character and yeah. done that yeah. way. Balls would have been or this is balls. Just do a Lando movie. Yeah, with that fucking glover. he looks great holy shit I mean we saw nothing of him except for like one shot where he smiles but I'm like that's Lando that smile though mm, I, yeah I agree it, it looks it looks great Stunning, yeah. Bradford um, Young you should say shot it shot Arrival yeah really yeah. good um, also doesn't look like garbage I was expecting expecting it to look like garbage from like it's Disney and Star Wars it's yeah. not gonna look like garbage yeah may, it, may, might be garbage, it might be garbage it's not gonna it's look like garbage too. it's gonna be a polished turd yeah to me, I don't know. It's I don't know. I don't know if it's like Star Wars fatigue setting in or something. Like, there's, there's a lot of Star Wars lately, but visually it looks great. Like you were saying with his line delivery, I'm a little iffy on the everything he said. I'm just like, what? Is that how Han Solo would have said really? it? I don't. Is it? Mm. I do think that uh, we'll have another new favorite droid. In this movie, well, the one that looks like Alpha from Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, yes. that guy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, they always have to have one like droid. He's yeah. like copying Lando, yeah. doing some like, weird hand thing. Like K two S O from Yeah. Lando. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm still a little wary. I don't know. Ouch. I don't know. We'll see. It could be great. It could okay. be great. Hey, I like it. But could be great. I'll take it. Could it. also be fine. A, I'm a little nervous. It could also be just fine. I think it could be fine also. But I think that it looks good yeah. from this trailer. It yeah. does look. It didn't blow me good, away. So. It didn't like. I wasn't like, oh fuck! Like after I watched the trailer, I was like, I guess I was okay. Ready. Yeah, that's that's what I expected. Yeah. Mm. You know, I don't know. I wasn't like, I am like dead ringer. Holy yeah. fuck! Like it did. Like I was like, okay, okay. we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. For Iron Reich. He's doing his own thing. I think the movie looks good. Yeah. But for Iron Reich specifically, like, it's weird. I've seen stills of, like, side-by-sides of him and Han from this trailer. Just, like, facial expressions that are amazing. But, like, in motion, like... This deli- it's this deliver, I think, is the problem. Like, it doesn't seem like it's Han Solo-y. Like, that's the problem yeah. for me. I'll, I'll 
Jump in. Yeah, Jump in there. Uh, it seems like we're just like we're missing something from this. It's making it like not Han Solo. Yeah, like Harrison Ford. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, that, like that might be it. Character wise, I think I agree. Like yeah, like, like this seems like a very big gap between this Han Solo and, and the Han what we Solo know that we know in New Hope. Like there's a big there's a big gap. Like there's like a big piece that's missing. Yeah. Um, like it's a it's like twenty years before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, but I do see. I do seem like this is like a. Uh, it seems like it's like almost like a team up kind of movie. Like he's getting like together. Like Woody Harrelson's getting yeah, together a team. So he's do the Kessel Run. Exactly. So it seems like it's gonna be. It's less of a Han Solo movie. More of like uh, Han Solo is just like one of the characters in it. Um, yeah, it wasn't all about Han. Uh, I was. I, I thought it was gonna be all about Han. I didn't know that it was. He's barely in the trailer, him. actually. Yeah. When you, yeah, there's a lot of like there's a lot of like exposition shots all around, not really showing a whole lot, and then. You see him deliver someone who is not Ansel Elgort. Right? No, I just uh, this movie you know, some breaking news comes out in May. Is Ansel that right? Yeah, that's soon. Very very soon. <laughs> that's <laughs> like fucking. This is Ron Howard, that's right? Not that's that far yeah. away. Okay. Boy, does it look safe. Well, looks safe. We shall see yeah. when the film comes out. Moving on. Deadpool two. <laughs> DP two. No, you DP are a fan too. of DP. Yeah. Yeah, Ty. Let's start with you. Yeah, we get to see Cable for the first time. Yeah, in action. Yeah, you guys remember I had a problem with that with uh, the casting of Cable. <sighs> yeah, because uh, Josh Brolin's playing too many characters in the MCU, in my opinion. Even this, though this is not MCU. MCU. I know. I got to do that. Or is it? Dot right. Disney buying Fox was that right? Yeah. Was so right? I was right. Um, I'll, you guys take that. Um, this looks hilarious to me like like the trailer we all watched it um i was laughing i thought it was great like look they didn't miss uh, they didn't skip a beat with it you got fourth wall breaks you've got uh dead dead you got deadpool got toy you got story Cable. you got him throwing in <laughs> you, got, you got him being like again just a, like an this, ass yeah. like uh yes. we're not trying to edit out a mustache that's fucking hilarious to me <laughs> yeah. like like that's ex- like that's a shot to DC. Right that's there. exactly what I was expecting, and that's exactly what we got. <laughs> and so that, like, to me, this was like a perfect trailer, mm. like for Deadpool. Like that, we couldn't have gotten a better Deadpool trailer. And honestly, it didn't even show that much. It didn't, and that's the best part. It really like, didn't show anything because they didn't show how 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 Cable's going to tie in or now what, was what it, the was fuck it are Rob Liefeld that that said that you know the first Deadpool is is comparable to like Alien. And how Aliens like a great movie on its own, but Deadpool two is like Aliens. How it's like just James Cameron Aliens. steps in is like I'm just gonna turn this into a giant. Go to town with this. Yeah, go to town. So you know that. With that being said, I'm curious to see this movie now. You know, especially in sort of the last half of the trailer, it gets into some action shots. You weren't a fan uh, of Deadpool, were you? You weren't a huge fan of it. I uh, loved Deadpool. Well, okay, it was you? Okay, there's one of you two that wasn't a huge fan. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Mind blown. Mind blown. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it looks hilarious. I think there's going to be a lot of jokes. A ton of side-splitting jokes that aren't in the trailer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm in. Tim? It was fine. I'm in. Deadpool. I think it looks good. Better than the first? Much bigger budget. Yes. Because the effects look spot on in this except for the arm I saw a green arm so except for the I mean arm. yeah they didn't, they didn't finish, even finish, finish them they didn't yeah. finish the you talk about it the effects were shit in this they didn't finish them <laughs> um they did a little Toy Story reference you, you are a me huge real good. Toy Story fan. I love Toy Story yeah that was great um Had but yeah I'm excited I think Keeble looks fantastic yeah would look like better looks, uh, he could have been bigger and stronger he looks yeah. badass yeah, yeah. it's insane <laughs> he should have died working out <laughs> what was it Adam he sent something in our chat this week about what was it? Uh, Liefeld also said that he comment he on a set visit he told Josh Brolin that he was looking shredded uh-huh. and he was like oh yeah here gives him the prop gun that he's using in this trailer. it's a real gun seventy pound <laughs> machine gun yeah. Liefeld like fell over he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he's like yeah I have to run up hills and do truck jumps with this so beast. fucked what it's beast. insane super freak beast fucking make a prop gun what the fuck are you doing I'm, I'm excited it. though like I, I like the first Deadpool like I think it's fine I think people are like glamoured yeah, by tell, like tell us how we're glamoured wrong. by like yeah. the newness of it all yeah oh. be like oh my god it's so crazy so like, much referential yeah like it's, it's fine um, but this one looks pretty funny too 
I think there's a lot more it jokes, sure obviously, because there's yeah, almost no jokes yeah. in this trailer. So I'm excited to see everything that's not shown yet. Yeah, I agree with uh, everyone, sort of. Yeah. Are you saying two different things? No, no, we're both excited for it. I'm excited. I'm kind of uh, curious, actually, sorry, like the green arm thing. Like, yeah. I wonder if that's... Going to tie in Is that even going to be in the movie? Oh, that's that's just, just, just part of the trailer. Yeah. yeah. Just the, with the voiceover and everything, they could have easily just done that for the trailer. Well, we better get a Thanos joke. If we don't, I mean, oh yeah, oh we, will. oh yeah, there will be. They have yeah. to, right? They will. <laughs> yeah, looks. I looks love hilarious. That. It's pretty much what I expected. Like it just looks like Ryan Reynolds just going full retard. Again, like, couldn't like, have gotten a better Deadpool trailer. Yeah, yeah. it's ba- like yeah, it's exactly what you want. To <laughs> For be. better or worse, that's exactly what I thought it'd yeah. be. It just looks very good. All right, we all like that trailer. Great Moving on. On that sky. note, uh, we got Venom. Tim, would you like to finally go first? got a teaser for Venom? Yeah, Tim, what do you think of what do you think of the Venom? As a resident Venom fan. As the resident Venom fan, I guess. Yeah. Loved him since I was a young boy watching the Spider Man cartoon. Fuck man, that was oh, me too. fucking fifty years ago. <sighs> the original one from like the sixties. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. like sliding Spider-Man. off like nothing. Spider Man. Yeah. Um Love Venom. Eddie Brock the trailer. What did you think? I could take it or leave it. I think Tom oh, Hardy okay. looks great. He's doing his awesome drop Brooklyn voice. That's what yeah. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yes. Um, we have to hear him talking. This? Yeah, he's doing the voiceover the whole time. That's him. That's from Party Bus. Got a thing. Boom. Everybody. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Sounds Everybody's different in every movie. Do, do it. Do it, Tim. Do it. What? Little Tim's bits. Go ahead. Do it. The Brooklyn. Yeah. I'm not doing the Brooklyn. Do it. The drop. Right. Do it. No. Bob. Tim. Okay. Hippity hoppity shoes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so I love that. Um. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's, it's definitely a straight teaser. Like, there's not much shown. Yeah. He has, obviously, in the comics, the symbiote is sometimes used to help treat, like, or they think it was going to, like, help treat, like, cancer or something. So maybe he has, like, a cancer di- di- a, a diagnosis. Like, he's an MRI. That's what I'm thinking. So. That's interesting. Yeah, so they're probably so. doing some sort of tests or something. That some scans treatment. Something. Wow. Um, Let's I inject an alien yeah, symbiote into Yeah, see you. what happens. Um... <laughs> So I'm excited to see. I've heard some things about like the storyline, like what stories they're adapting for it. Um, so I'm excited to see that. I'm also interested to see what design they go with for his symbiote. I'm worried because we saw no behind the scenes mocap stuff. Mm. So it's either going to be straight CGI. That we've seen. Probably. I mean, they might have seen all in, in indoors. True. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to burst the bubble. What? Andy Circus was contacted for consulting. Tom Hardy was coached by Andy mm. Circus, the goat. Perfect. Continue. It's a five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jump in. I, I think it. it's like they just cobbled together what footage they had. Oh! Yeah. Like, it seems very soon. Like, it's like, Too they soon. didn't. They don't have that much footage. Rob Liefeld, is that you? What? You guys didn't hear that he, like, eviscerated it on Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Apparently a lot of people hate the trailer for some reason. Yeah. Like, it's fine. It's a teaser trailer. Like, I think it's yeah. fine, but it's just like, it's just such a tease because it doesn't show anything. No, that's what he said. We do it's see like, the symbiote, which is pretty cool. But that's a teaser. But, right? but it's a teaser, it's not a trailer, it's a teaser. I know, but it's just, like, just wait and, like, just show like, a little, little bit of this. Yes. Yeah. Show, like, it's like, a random, s- just show me, like, something, 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 because something, yeah. for me, it's just, it just seems like there's, there's some interesting parts of action sequences there, yeah. and sure, you get one shot of a symbiote. Yeah. That must be the first shot they worked on. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you, you barely get to see half of Riz Ahmed's face on that shot. It's it's really Riz like, Ahmed? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. The guy who opens up the door? Edge. Yeah. That's Riz Ahmed? Shit. I did not recognize him. Yeah. I like pause him. Like, oh, wait. Not Riz? Confirmed. Fuck. I was thinking of somebody else. Rizzy? Rizzy? Um, um, Rizza? I think. I mean, Tom Hardy's fantastic. I love Tom Hardy yeah. so much. Um, he's a great Eddie. Or he's a perfect casting for Eddie Brad. You guys didn't like Topher Grace? Did not. Shut so. up. I thought he was perfect. <laughs> Shut up. Um, he says. I think exactly I think it will like be good. I just think why. as a trailer, it's sort of like meh. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I? You, you go. Uh, agreed with this man here. Think the movie will be good. Well, it's weird. I was getting the feeling that the movie would be shit. I don't know why. The teaser kind of gives me hope because it looks gargles. good, like visually. Yeah, it looks like cool, a real yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> I think it. Yeah, I think it could be 
like more in that like Logan ish <laughs> yeah. zone, like that Fox kind of vibe. Probably. It is R rated, right? Yeah, so, it is R rated. So like I think I didn't see that in the trailer. It's not gonna be like the MCU like poppy kind of like fun colors. Have you heard the rumor that colors. Holland is in it? I have cameo. Heard there is. A I have heard that because apparently this is adapting one of the storylines where like Spider Man and Venom have come into to an agreement that he, Venom just can't do like any more like illegal shit. And Spider Man will just leave him alone. I love that. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like a quarter way movie or halfway through. They're on the rooftop being like, hey, as long as you don't do shit, and then piss it off. Yeah, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm i fine Probably that it happen. was a tease. Like, I don't really care. Yeah, it's a teaser trailer. Liefeld's like, I wouldn't go that game. far to, like, eviscerate it, per se. He's like, Sony? But, like, at Sony, you made the wrong call. Last time I ever <laughs> watched one of your movies, you just released a trailer for a movie that's not even close to being ready. Fuck you. He's like, going... It's definitely too soon, but I wouldn't go that far. But like, just wait a month or something. Like, when's this yeah. movie coming out? Do you guys know? October. November, October, November. Like, you, it's it's February. Like, you can wait they waited, a month or, or two. They didn't wait long enough. I think. Like, I don't think we really needed this trailer yet. No. Kind of weird. I don't know. I kind of wanted. S- I wanted something. Like, I didn't want like that's not even necessarily a trailer. I, you know, go teaser. Go ahead. Yeah. Go. Go. Like, go ahead. it didn't have to necessarily be a teaser, but like, give us like. Like they like to me like they, they didn't release any like photos or anything like that of it yet. One photo. They had one photo. Like release some more. Just nothing. It's, like it's oh, like it's already at home. Yeah, at home. Yeah, on, yeah, on a bed. <laughs> was he like sitting on a bed or something like that? No, was... no, he's just sitting there. He has like a little notepad or something. Okay, like release more photos. You know, like there's more. Something. There's so much more. Like release like an, an official poster that's like not just like the fucking face. You know, like that is the poster. But, like I, do like release something else though. You know, like do something other than like because I will agree. I think what you said. Like well, yeah, but this. I think it was too early, though. Like from what, like like what you said, it was. It looked like they just kind of took what footage they had and kind of stuck it together. Like it, that first first um, Star Wars teaser we got for Episode Seven. It didn't feel like it flowed. It was, it was like, amazing, though. It was good, but it was also like really clearly some just a couple snippets. Yeah, what they had had like parts of what they had done. Not on the same level, but you know what I mean. So like, I feel like it's just it's missing a lot. Like, I think the like, problem is there was no setup. Like, it was just, like, a sizzle reel. It was just, like, him walking, him in a hospital bed. Like, there was no... It looks like a fan trailer. Like, what's me. going on yeah. here? Yeah. The Force Awakens teaser was, like, teasing that something was happening sure. story-wise. Yeah. This is, like, <laughs> no... Like, what's happening? There's <laughs> an accident. There's some explosion, right? I mean, mm. that motorcycle shot was sick. Practical, like, stuntman driving through exploding cars. Clearly, the symbiote like crashes to Earth. Yeah, obviously. I mean, that that much I can glean from it. I will say, I, I do think that the Venom design, personally, I think it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like comic accurate. Like it's gonna be like he's gonna be like a massive hulking like. Yeah, it's gonna make or break the movie. Yeah, yeah for sure. Especially since they're hiding it, I totally agree. Yeah. Like I it, hope it's like Hulk level, yeah. like looks as good as Hulk does. I think it'll be. I think it, I'm hoping it's gonna be good. Yeah. Because you, like like you said, it's gonna it is gonna make him break. Yeah. Him. Like if it looks bad, no matter the how good the movie's gonna be, if it looks stupid, Get fans are gonna eviscerate it. Yeah. It better be like it better be like photorealistic. Yeah. Like Venom, I want that. I can see that. Amazing. Like I can because like it looks like this is like all the shots that they took. Like, they look like good shots. Like him like walking on the street. Like it looked like it's a simple shot, yeah, but, but it looked like it was a good detailed shot. Yeah. Like visually, it looks cool. Like yeah. that opening shot of like what you think is like a lake, and then it just pans across. It's just like a big photo in the hospital. Yeah. Like that looks good. Yeah. yeah. Visually, it looks nice. So I feel like this is gonna be. It looks like it's well made. Yeah. We'll have to see when the movie comes out. It's coming out in uh, October, you said? That's like... Yeah. October. It's October. October. It's in the trailer. Like, I guess poster. November. It's like Oscar Oscar music later. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we got some choice. other news. Uh, we're going back to Star Wars here. Uh, Disney's announced that Should David Benioff and, and B.B. Weiss, you guys might know as the showrunners of Game of Thrones... Mm-hmm. You know them, right? ...are now yeah. writing and directing a new Star Wars series of films... Now, not the ones that, that Ryan mean? Johnson's working on. Correct. So, what they have in develop development now is, we got Solo coming out this year. Yeah. Yep. We got Episode Nine coming the year after that. Yep. 
We got maybe an Obi Wan film in development. Is, is that actually first? happening? It's just they're developing it. It's okay. not to be in talks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're, they're, they're they're trying One to develop it. You yeah. got a live action that. TV series being mm. developed for their streaming platform. Yes, Multiple. and we have Ryan Johnson getting a trilogy, new trilogy yeah. that he's going to be writing and producing. Yeah. And now we have the Game of Thrones showrunners doing a new series, not not, not necessarily a trilogy, yeah. a series. Of films. Of films. Not a TV series. Of films. Yes, not TV. Interesting. Films. So, that is curious. Hmm. I do have a feeling it's going to be probably three and three, and that they're going to alternate years. Yeah. yeah. Like what they're doing now, once they run out. Ryan Johnson will take the episodic route, I feel. Yes. Maybe in the future. It's a shame. We'll see. the gap between episode nine and ten with these movies. Yeah, probably. Well, like with what the with the Ryan Johnson and the Game of Thrones guys movies, like you can fill that gap, take like a ten year break between episode nine and ten, and just do their movies instead. Yeah. Well, nope. you think so? I think. I mean, you think should 10, I kick off? Is it even discussion? confirmed? Like, is ten a thing? Is ten even going to happen? Ten is crazy. You guys I think ten? Thought so. Oh, <laughs> I think with this amount of movies announced, I don't even think ten is even happening. Five, maybe. I, think... I mean, eventually. They're going to do it. Or is Ryan Johnson's time. movies, is that 10, 11, 12? No chance. He literally said they're not. Or do you mean like, like fill the gap? Are they even officially episode? Does it no. say episode in the reel? It doesn't no. say episode. I think in fact, I think he, didn't he say it wasn't episode? Like it was like a brand new series, I mean brand the new current characters. 7, 8, 9. Yes, so 7 and 8. Do they say episode 7? Yeah. And episode yeah, they eight? do. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not convinced that they're going to continue it. I don't know. That's crazy. I, no, so do you go talk to the other. Why, why? Why would they not continue it? I think more importantly, what's your thoughts about these guys? The Game of Thrones showrunners, Tim. Getting Game of Thrones, getting Game of Thrones, leads me to believe that they're tackling the Knights of the Old Republic timeline. Not that story specifically, but I think that time period somewhere in there. I think someone at Disney even confirmed. Um, that they said something along the lines like they're going to tackle a certain time period in yeah. uh, Star Wars. You guys heard that? Heard that, that, that would make sense. And the second it, he said that, like a certain time period, I'm yeah. like, the internet literally exploded. Nice to the old republic. <laughs> the old republic. Yeah. To me, that's like too obvious. It's like too on the nose. But it's like almost like what? JJ it's like, doing Force Awakens. <laughs> yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange. Like yeah. I guess that's very obvious. Yeah, but perfect. Um, I will say, um, the good parts of Game of Thrones. It's a hard book series to adapt, without yeah. a doubt. They did a good job. Yeah. But <laughs> that being said, <laughs> all the great parts in Game of Thrones are in the books. Like it's not they didn't create it from yeah. nothing, yeah, right? It was George R. R. Yeah. Martin yeah. that created a lot of these amazing moments. So they're great that at adapting. The show. Great at adapting. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the parts that they write on their own, not so great. Not so great. You know, some tangents, mm. some stuff that they were making up, and you're like, okay, that wasn't. They're going a completely different root in the books and it doesn't always it doesn't really hit so I'm honestly a little nervous I'm a little nervous but I'm optimistic somehow after that what are, what are you guys thoughts overall Adam start uh, I'm cautiously optimistic I hear what you're saying uh, I think it makes sense if you're doing this controlled sort of like big budget TV series anyway, like MCU or Star Wars. Makes sense to get like the highest quality production TV ever made. Like Game of Thrones is like the biggest budget show of all time, yeah. biggest production quality. So like they're certainly no stranger to that. I think they want, clearly they've had trouble with their director choices, Disney. So I think they want like a steady hand to like write and produce and oversee it they're like, trying to find the next russo writing. brothers yeah yeah <laughs> right yeah exactly they they're forming their brain trust now i think they have ryan johnson doing his thing these guys doing this i think they want the same voice 
to do these multiple movies. And steady hands. Less steady cooks hands. in the kitchen. Steady. No Ron Howard. Lord Miller. No uh, <laughs> spunky young guys coming in. <laughs> they want jaded, old, <laughs> grizzled vets. Ron yeah. Howard's of the world. <laughs> yeah. the Ron Howard's the epitome of safe. Um, yeah, I think it could be... If it's, if it's Old Republic era, pretty perfect. It'd be pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. I can't wait. And Ryan Medieval... Johnson. Stuff sounds good. It's like medieval Star Wars. Oh, it's like pretty it's like perfect. Game of Thrones, but with Star lightsabers. Wars. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally the exact same. Yeah, and Ryan Johnson confirmed like he's not doing. He's not doing episodes or yeah. anything. He's I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what those things are. Yeah. He's said no Skywalkers. Like he literally basically he said new characters are gonna clean slate. Yeah, much. he's just making a movie set in Star Wars with nothing we've ever seen. Uh-huh. No Jedi, no Sith, no character you've ever seen, no timeline you've ever seen. He's just like doing his own movie. Pod racing. Nope. Nope. Uh, we've already seen, seen that. Shit. <laughs> seen it. Been there. Shit, and it worked wow. out so well. I mean, so it's interesting. I don't think. Let me rephrase what I stated earlier. I don't think they're gonna yeah. go back to episodes anytime soon. Yeah, it's gonna be like. At least fifteen years, yeah, yeah. fifteen years, right? Because though that's this is that. at least six more movies that we're we're t- talking about here. Because we know what's her face is done. <laughs> like uh, she's very vocal about what's her uh, Ray. Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley came out and said that she was done with the Star Wars universe. Smart move. So so we know that like we're not, I can't see them doing like any anything episodic like right after her because it wouldn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Doing like maybe like a like. 10 11 12 like later on like you said like maybe 10 15 years yeah in the same in the same vein yeah. like how you know you have uh mark hamill and harrison ford and carrie fisher coming back yeah. after years yeah there's still that possibility of yeah. them doing daisy know, ridley could come back 10 11 in 12 years, years. Like, daisy ridley is the new carrie fisher exactly cetera, you know yeah. and just continuing that saga i mean you never know but uh but yeah anything else uh, uh well i well that'll do it oh <laughs> No, Dope. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's cool. Um, I just, I think we're kind of getting like overwhelmed with Star Wars. Like you just said, like we just had one last, we had one like just now. It's one got, a year now. Like, I, it's too much, I think. They're like, going to do two a year? Fatigue? Uh, yeah, I'm like, honestly, I'm kind of getting like a little I've sick of it. I've seen a few articles honestly. lately about it. About what? people, you know, sort of, Star Wars sort of losing a bit of its mystique. It is, because you just keep, they keep pumping them out now. It's like, this would be an event. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now it's, it's just like it's become the next Marvel, you know? It's like they got a new movie, like they got a couple movies coming out each year. But everyone says that, like, there's Marvel fatigue, and then every movie comes out and it makes a ton of money. Fucking and people love gets it. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Everyone's like, I love it! Yeah, but the thing about the, what made Star, Star, Star Wars so amazing was that there was just like huge gaps between them. And for sure. Like, yeah. it was like there was so much anticipation for the next one. With yeah. this, like, there's no, like, there's no longing anymore. Because, like, don't, don't worry, we don't want to come in out. So. I agree with that. I totally and agree. I agree with these people's arguments. But at the same time, if they're good, yeah. who cares? Oh. I like a Star Wars movie every year. That's great. If it's good. If it's Are you good. kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, who's going to say no to that? Yeah. Right? Who cares if it turns into the new Marvel MCU-style universe? I just don't want more episode right. eight. Because they're good. You know I mean? They're good movies. So, yeah. Fuck in, Disney, <laughs> in Disney, we trust. In Disney, well, we trust. Well, yeah. Definitely. That'll do it for episode 132 of the Up Real Late podcast team. Where can people find us? Uh, people can find us on Twitter at Up Real Late. You can find me personally on Letterboxd at Up Real Tim and on Instagram at The Craft Pundit. I got this already. Oh, fuck me. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Up Real Late Podcast. You can also find me on Letterboxd at Up Real Tie. Wow. Nice. Came in strong. Did you feel that? Yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Franny25 and Instagram and Letterboxd at Up Real Adam. You can find myself, Scott, on Letterboxd at Upreal Scott. And yeah, guys, if you enjoy this video, leave a like on it, leave a comment below, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, and as always, keep it real. <laughs>